In this video, an Arduino library is created for the real-time clock DS3231 that will enable the user to set time and date and to read time and date and temperature and display them on different screens. In this video, two real-time clock systems are presented, one using the MAC7219 4-digit display which shows time, date, and temperature coming from a DS3231 module. The second real-time clock is based on the 4-digit 745957 segment display, where time, date, and temperature are displayed coming from the DS3231. Our library is contained within the Arduino Libraries folder, so the name of the library is DS3231 underscore real-time clock which contains the examples folder and the source header and the keywords files Microsoft Visual Studio Code is used to create the header file source file and the sketches available in the examples folder now we look at the functions available within the library we have functions to set time and date function set time has three arguments the first to set seconds the second argument for the minutes and the third argument to set the hours function set date has four arguments the first is to set the day which has a value from 1 to 7 1 is Sunday 2 is Monday and so on the second argument to set the date third to set the month and the fourth to set the year the values for the seconds, minutes, hours, date, m uh, month, and year are all in binary coded decimal. Now we look at the functions used to read time, date, and temperature from the DS3231. We begin with function read seconds, which returns a byte value that can be stored in a variable. Now this byte value is in binary coded decimal so we need to extract the least significant digit and the most significant digit of the seconds value so this expression here is used to extract the least significant digit and this expression is used to extract the most significant digit other functions used to extract the time and date we have function read minutes read hours read day read date read month and read year Again, these functions return a byte which is in binary coded decimal. Finally, function read temp will return the temperature in Celsius. And this value is an 8-bit value that can be stored in a byte variable. Now we look at the examples inside the library. We begin with this sketch which is used to set time and date. We've included these two libraries, the wire and the DS3231 libraries. We declare this object to the constructor. And within the setup function, we initialize the I squared C of the microcontroller. And then using function set time, we will set the seconds, minutes, and hours. Again, keep in mind that these values are binary coded decimal. Next, we set the date. So we set the day, the date, the month, and the year. The next example sketch is the display of time, date, and temperature on a MAC7219 four digit dot metrics display. The libraries included are the wire library, the DS3231 library, and the MAC7219 library which was created and demonstrated in a previous video. We also include this header file which contains the byte needed to sketch the letters from A to Z capital and small. Next we declare object RTC to this constructor for the real-time clock and we declare this object to the back 7219 constructor. Display object has three arguments which indicates the pins of the data, chip select, and the clock. Within the setup function, we initialize the I squared C of the microcontroller, 
and then we initialize the max 7219 four digit display and set the brightness level and then we clear the display within the loop function we display the most significant digit of the hours on digit 1 display the most significant digit of minutes on digit 3 display the least significant digit of minutes on digit 4 next we want to display the least significant digit of hours on digit 2 with a blinking decimal point that will blink every one second so this if statement will show the least significant digit without the decimal point and this if statement will show the least significant digit with the decimal point inside the loop function this if statement becomes true every 30 seconds where this function will be called and executed that will display the date and the temperature on the display this inside function display date temperature we first clear the screen and then display the day of the week Sunday or Monday and so on so the day of the week is obtained from this function and the value is stored in this byte variable and using a switch statement and based on the case value we will display one of the days of the week either Sunday or Monday and so on after clearing the screen we then display the date and the month and then we clear the screen and then display the year finally after clearing the display temperature in Celsius is displayed on the screen and then we clear the display and jump back to the loop function to display time In this next uh, example sketch, we display time, date, and temperature on 74HC595 four-digit display. We include the DS231 library, and we include the 74595 display library, which was created and demonstrated in a previous video. We declare this object to this constructor, and we declare this object to this constructor. The display object has three values which indicates that the DIO and the register clock line and the serial clock line are connected to pins 2, 3 and 4 of the Arduino. Inside the loop function we display time and every 30 seconds this function will then display the date and the temperature. In a future video, more functionalities will be added to the DS3231 library, such as setting alarms. Thank you for watching.